Hello again, you beautiful, beautiful souls. Welcome to another wee video made by Mwa about another wee custom map based on history. And as is the new routine, let's quit wasting time and let's just jump right in. Today, folks, we're in the land of new news because this ancient lost city might be older than my grand, but its discovery is newer than the newest thing you have. It's that new. Unless, of course, you're watching this video at some point in the distant future, at which point this is no longer a very recent discovery. In which case, hello future. What is it like there? Has the apocalypse started yet? Did we survive? Please leave a comment to let present day me know about future you and whether or not the planet has survived. And also, do I still have my hair? Anyway, back to the present. Today, we are in Valeriana, a very recently discovered lost city in Mexico, representing a significant archaeological find in the history of Central America and shedding light on the sheer beauty of the ancient Maya. Imagine waking up one day to discover that your backyard is actually an ancient Mayan metropolis. That's pretty much what happened with Valeriana, except the backyard in question is a dense jungle and the discovering party is armed with magic. Well, I call it magic, but other more intelligent people than me refer to it by its real name, LIDAR, light detection and ranging. Think of LIDAR as a high-tech leaf blower that, instead of clearing your driveway, reveals entire cities under a blanket of greenery. LIDAR is a technology which generates accurate three-dimensional models of surface features by using pulsed lasers and other data collected from airplanes overhead. The ruins here show all the hallmarks of a classic Mayan political capital. Indiana Jones would wet himself with pride. Named after a nearby lake, Valeriana is believed to have flourished during the classic period of the Maya civilization, approximately between the years 250 and 900 AD. However, evidence also points to the city's foundation being before AD 150. The city encompasses over 120 square kilometers and contains more than 6,600 structures, with a density of over 55 structures per square kilometre. Many of these are included in this map, such as the city's grand platforms, expansive plazas, ball courts, and a sophisticated reservoir system. This extensive urban centre highlights the architectural genius and urban planning capabilities of the ancient Maya. They may not have had Netflix or Starbucks, but they had human sacrifice. And I'm sure we can all agree, we'd rather have sacrifice than whatever that stuff is that Starbucks calls coffee. Actually, no, scratch that. I take it back because drinking that rubbish actually is a sacrifice in its own right. What makes Valeriana's discovery particularly remarkable is its proximity to modern infrastructure located close to highways and farmlands. The city was identified by a PhD student who analyzed publicly available 10-year-old LIDAR data, underscoring the potential of modern technology in uncovering historical sites. Imagine the thrill of finding out your boring backyard is actually the site of an ancient civilization. It's like finding out your grumpy neighbor is actually an undercover superhero. Not possible in my case, as I have already discovered that my neighbor is in fact just a massive super prick. The layout and architectural features of Valeriana suggest it was a central hub for social, ceremonial and commercial activities, akin to a bustling metropolis of its time. At its peak, Valeriana is estimated to have supported a population up to 50,000 individuals, making it one of the most densely populated areas within the Maya lowlands. The city's impressive structures and intricate urban design reflect a highly organised society, with a strong emphasis on interaction and connectivity within the region. This was an age before social media and dating apps, when you actually had to go outside and talk to people if you wanted to get laid. Today's generation will never understand. Valeriana is a reminder that there's still so much to discover about our past, and that sometimes the greatest secrets are hidden right under our noses. So next time you're out for a walk, keep your eyes peeled. You never know what ancient wonders might be lurking just beneath the surface. And if you do find something, maybe give it a cool name like Valeriana. Or, you know, just call it Bob's Ancient Ruins. Whatever floats your boat. Now, be honest, how many of you desperately want to fly a drone with LiDAR over your garden right now? I know I do, and I will just as soon as you give me the money. 
In lieu of your money, I will continue instead to make these maps, just as I did this one, using a mixture of real-world satellite height map data and also this LiDAR data, because that's the magic that I use too. I make them because I like to reimagine history. How might this area look today if it had gone differently? If the Maya civilization had never fallen, or if the Spanish had avoided sneezing on everything, how would this city look today? If you also need to find out, then you can grab the map from the Paradox site by following the link below. Now, before we dive into the map information, I'm reminded by the wife that if you don't subscribe, then she will keep paying the local gangs to follow me around and cut my car's brakes. She says she does it because she loves me, but I'm really not convinced. Anyway, you heard what I said. Subscribe now or be complicit in my death. Thank you. Now for that map information. Theme North American. Climate 10 to 31 degrees Celsius. Buildable area 73%. Outside connections, roads, rail, sea, air, power. Natural resources. Wheat 96.7 square kilometers. Forest 139 kilotons, or 189 kilotons. Oil 101 kilotons. Terrain. Lots of flat land, but also many small to medium hills. And that's us, folks. All done for another beautiful map, courtesy of Ancient Swan, who is me, and Colossal Order, who are a group of developers who are not me. I'm out until the next time. I look forward to seeing you then. And in the meantime, don't forget to LIDAR the absolute shit out of everything you see from this day forward. Peace, love, and Valeriana. Goodbye!